up. So we've got the tripod here and I'm about to put them actually in their carriers. And I'm gonna answer like a ton of questions and stuff, but the first thing I wanna do is get them in their carriers up. because- So we've got the tripod here. I have to And I'm about to put them hands. actually in their carriers. And so let's get Noxy first. And the reason that I'm not putting them in the same carrier, hey buddy, um, is because Finn gets a little antsy <laughs> inside his carrier and I don't want them to get be, be like frustrated towards each other um, right before <laughs> they go in the cage together. Okay, if I could just, oh, there we go. And then Finn, it's your turn. Finn is very fast and he's very smart. Okay, come here you. Okay. So I'm gonna get him set up in here. Whoops, there you go. Close him in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really quick how I do this. Because these pans come out and you'll see underneath like what I mean. So I'm gonna open this up all the way. And if you notice there's fleece underneath, that's because they're metal, it's metal and metal, so it's really loud. Um, and that's just a, an easy way to lessen the sound that comes from these huge cages. this so that the chins can actually, I can actually close the cage because this is pressing up against the wood back there. And it wasn't a problem before. Let me just make sure that I don't have to change anything. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just a little, it's just a little high. Okay, so this is going to have to change. This shouldn't take but just a couple minutes. And Henry and Chip are over here like, what are you doing? doing and I'm gonna go back there and that big piece of wood is blocking this pan so it just needs to move up a little bit didn't know that was gonna be a problem okay so 
And Finn and Knox right now, Knox is fine in the carrier. Finn, Finn's not really that thrilled, but it's okay. Okay, so I've got these wing nuts out. And, oh, and this is a slanted wall, so I'm trying not to hit myself in the head. Uh, okay. So, we just need to pull this out for just a second. Just a little bit more. Okay. Put up like that. Let me see if this is... Okay, I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. That's back on and everything fits. All right. Ooh. Okay. This is very cramped back here. Probably could have pulled this cage out a little bit more, but I'm anxious to get them in the cages. It's also easier to do this stuff with two people, but Jordan's at work. <laughs> And the reason I have this like random wooden plank against the back of the cage is because it was helping to keep in the mess from the bedding. Um, it was mildly effective, kind of. Okay, so, all right, all right, now we can move this thing back and put them in. Sorry about that. You can see them over here. <laughs> Finn is not too happy. <laughs> and Knox is... <laughs> Knox is actually starting to get frustrated, so let's get this finished up so I can get them back into their cages and you guys can watch them interact because I really don't know how it's going to go in the big cage. I think it's going to be fine, but thought this could be really interesting for everyone to see. So, I'm just going to close this for a second. Move back. And these definitely tear up your floors, so be careful if you're going to move these cages by yourself. I don't know why I did that, because it's... because I think the hay is, oh, and you know what, that fits like that, so I wonder if that's how it used to be, regardless. Um, the hay will also be a nice distraction, so if you haven't seen our hay setup, I have it, like, covered with all this, um, these magnets right now, uh, but you can get one of these big cans at, like, Home Depot, and it fits an eight-pound box from the, like, value box on Amazon from uh, Small Pet Select, so uh, I don't really have somewhere to put this. Maybe we'll just leave this one out for now. Okay. In any case, all right, we're gonna put them in, and just so you guys can see the inside of the cage, um, this is what it looks like. And that's what was in the way, that plank. This, this was a little high, um, so it wasn't pushing back all the way. And then, We've got up here, this is what it looks like. So let's see, I'm gonna have to keep it closed, but I'm gonna be right here so you guys can see everything. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let them in up top here because it's gonna be more obvious that they can go down once they're up on top. 
Henry is cool. Henry is pretty cool. And look, uh, before we, I'm gonna show you. Look at those sweet guys. Hey, need Chip. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. And Linus is over here. He's a little upset. There's just a lot of, oh no, he's not. He's not anymore. He's just chilling. He's eating his hay. He's eating. What a surprise. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in. I'm going to back it up so you can see the reactions. Okay, guys, you guys are losing your minds. And I'm going to put them in at the same time. So I'm getting, getting them both out. All right, I have them. Whoa. Here we go. I'm gonna go there with this. Let me get a closer look here. And Finn is like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. And that is an ox that you hear chirping. So Knox is pretty uneventful as a as chinchillas go. He's really calm and laid back. Finn is kind of the opposite. He's really, really energetic. So I'd be interested to see even if Knox cares at all. He's back there. He's just doing his own thing. <laughs> hey Finn. Have Finn met Henry Chip or Linus? No. Finn won't be meeting any of the others. He did go up to Linus's cage at one point, um, accidentally. I, I usually sit right in front of it so they don't get to him. But it, Linus just cacked at him and tried to attack, but Finn ran away. He's not looking for a fight. <laughs> uh, Linus doesn't get along with any chinchilla, unfortunately. Knox and him used to be bonded, but... They, they aren't anymore. And that's really just because of Linus's personality. Um, Knox is obviously very social. And you can see, oh my gosh, they're just so sweet. <laughs> I think Knox has been maybe a little lonely. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I, that's just sort of the vibe I got from him that he would be happy with a friend. Is Linus mean? Yes. <laughs> And yeah, it, it, it's clear to me too that Finn is really happy with another chinchilla. And sometimes Finn gets a little frustrated when he's in the cage and he's pawing to get out and biting at the bars. And you wanna know, it's crazy. He totally chills out when he's in there with Knox and he doesn't do that stuff. So I think they're really good for each other. Um, also, Finn has been in a half-size cage, so I'm, I don't blame him for being a little frustrated. Oh, look at that little void. Oh, my gosh. I think Knox is the cutest of the five. I really do. <laughs> Please answer. Can I see Chip? Yes, I will show you Chip. Chip is not much fun right now, but we can go see him. Um, he's just... He's, he's sleeping with Henry. See? Aren't they the cutest? They, they love sleeping right there. And sometimes they sleep up here in this hammock. Um, but lately they've been chilling on this tile ledge. Very cute. They're yin and yang, I know. I, I love that. All the different references. Ebony and Ivory, yin and yang. They're super cute. Hey, Finny. Oh, and Knox is moving. <laughs> Knox, is, <laughs> Knox is just now realizing he can get up here. I don't brush them. That's a good question. A lot of people ask me about grooming. Um, and I haven't done a grooming care video to realize just now. Um, but really the only grooming they need is dust. And if they get mats, which is really normal, chinchillas do get mats, it's best, oh, <laughs> it's best if you just pull them out instead of trying to brush or like, wow, Knox is just right in the way. <laughs> um, instead of trying to like brush or comb, I guess, as, it's not really super helpful. Um, they don't need to be brushed. I think maybe, <laughs> Finn is acting like it's a really long way down, but it's just like, there, there's a step right there. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, you see how they are? They're just really, really chill with each other. I don't know why Finn is trying to act like he can't just jump up onto that. Yeah, there's like a ledge right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's mostly saying something about, I don't remember what I was saying. Somebody can remind me, but uh, yes, they do have the soft fur. Oh, fur, yes, dust. So the only grooming they need really is our dust baths. And I give mine like two a week because too much dust can dry out their skin. Okay, so that's mounting and that's pretty normal. That's a really, really, really normal behavior. And you see how it just lasted for like one second and Finn was like, okay, whatever. That's, it's the best thing for that to happen. So Knox is just telling him like, hey, I think I'm gonna be in charge. That's what I prefer in this relationship. And, and look, you see how Knox is, or sorry, Finn is trying to, he was just sort of sniffing his mouth and like, that's his way of sort of, I think, I think, just sort of submitting like, yeah, you're in charge, I'm not. Um, but that's how all chinchilla like relationships are. One of them is in charge. And right now he's, he's not trying to, <laughs> he's not at all trying to like mount or dominate Knox in this moment. He just wants him to move because he's trying to get on the platform to, <laughs> to get up top. Do I have any name recommendations? No, I am, I am so bad. I'm not bad at naming pets, but I don't, I don't ever like names that I come up with. Like Jordan came up with Finn, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't come up with Henry. I didn't come up with Chip. I didn't come up with Linus or Knox. <laughs> no, you don't have to clip their nails either. That's another thing in groom. <laughs> Finn. That's another grooming thing. Finn is like, really <laughs> having an issue with this. Maybe he wasn't, maybe I misunderstood. He's never, maybe he's never been in a big cage before. A lot of people keep chins in just like a half size cage, uh, which is a, is kind, it's not controversial, but I think there are definitely two different opinions on that. Oh, hello. I personally, I prefer chins to be in like a full size one of these cages rather than half. Obviously this was just a temporary thing for bonding them that I had it like halfway, but, hi Finn, but really, I think of a big full cage is the best. You wanna see Linus? Okay. Hi, Liney. Do not disturb. <laughs> Japanese names, those would be cute. Um, Finn's name before I, changed his name. His name was Misha, which I believe is a Russian name, which I thought was super cute, but I actually have a friend named Misha. So I was like, hmm, that's just, that's such a unique name that I can only think of my friend when I think of Misha. So I decided to change it. Hoshi and Kumo, that's cute. <laughs> Tips for new chinchilla owners. Um. <laughs> I feel like I say this often, but uh, go watch our care videos if you have any basic care questions because we went over those with most things in pretty good detail. Clearly I forgot about doing like grooming and dust related video, which makes sense. It's just like dust is really the only thing. So I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Remy and Ray, those are really cute names. Like for Chip. Does Chip have a lot of fans or something? Because like, I just never, <laughs> he's over there. If I say hi to him, he's like, he doesn't really want to say hi, but I will. Hey Chippy. Everybody wants to say hi. Hey buddy. Hi, okay. He's, he's a little bit, oh, hello. Can you give me a little scratch? Little scratch. Ooh, he's definitely trying to bite me. No. Ooh, Chippy. It's, it's kind of hilarious the way they, they push you away like that. <laughs> oh, Henry. <laughs> Henry's trying to sleep. Sorry, buddy. I'll put him back. But he's so cute, though. See, you notice how Finn has just not stopped this whole time? That's just how he is. He is so busy. 
he always has to have something to do, which is why I really want to get them bonded um, and in the same cage quickly, permanently. Because I feel, I feel bad. And I think I might keep two wheels in this cage. Wouldn't that be crazy? Or would it be crazy? I don't know. I want to see Finn eat a pear stick. Okay, well, here are our pear sticks. I just made a mess of them. Um, I don't know if he will necessarily eat one right away. They eat the bark, by the way, if anybody was wondering. They do eat some of it. So here's one with some blossoms on it. Um, let's see if you want it. You want this, buddy? Hmm? Ooh, the blossom part's pretty good. <laughs> well, you were right. He wanted it. I wonder if Knox will notice. Knox is sitting right at the entrance <laughs> to the top level. That's probably driving Finn crazy. Please get a sixth chin. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to get rid of those kinds of comments for fifth chin. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I would, I would not get a sixth chin, but it's, it's always fun to think about more, more chinchillas. Good question. Next episode of Roll for Dust Bath. I don't know. Um, I've been just busy with so much other stuff with Finn that I haven't even really thought about it. Uh, but I do want Finn to be involved, so I might might have to have another episode of him. Um, well, definitely more episodes, but he'll start to be involved. The only thing is Finn doesn't really sit up on the counter, so we might have to do his can he hold it <laughs> in the cage because I don't think he's going to stand up on the counter for a while because he doesn't seem super comfortable just yet. I mean, he'll be on the counter. He's fine up there, but he's, I don't, I think this slick texture makes him not want to stand up. So chinchillas taste really good. Wow. That's, uh, can you make the chins recreate stranger things? We had, we did like the intro, which was funny. That's like, Gosh, how long ago was that? Like, maybe it was last summer? Um, can chinchillas eat lime tree? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Do they shed fur everywhere? Yes. Do chins like cuddling with you? No. <laughs> they don't. No chinchilla like cuddles. They just don't do that. What you doing, Finny? You're eating this whole thing, huh? Are chinchillas ugly or cute? Well, I guess that's up to whoever answers that. I think they're cute. No, chinchillas don't like cuddling with you. Um, can I open the cage and pet them? I can pet Linus. He's right here. If I open the cage, Finn will come out. So, hey, Liney. They want to know if you're cuddly. You are not cuddly. You're very cute and very handsome. You are not cuddly in the slightest. And now I'm making his head really flat. <laughs> Linus just barely tolerates scratches. Like, he doesn't really... He's not really enjoying this right now. He's tolerating it. <laughs> and he's super soft and super cute, but unfortunately not cuddly. And he does not want to come out and, like, sit with me <laughs> either. Right now he's on... He's on charging time, where he just sits there, like a little, on his little charging block. But he's very cute. And I do appreciate that he lets me do this sometimes. Sometimes he bites me if I do this. <laughs> they are very soft. Oh my goodness, Liney. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's like, all right, that's enough of that. <laughs> the chin five. No, the bites don't really hurt. Their teeth are pretty sharp though. Um, but he's not, he's not biting me to hurt me. He was biting me to say, please stop. <laughs> and that doesn't always hurt, but I can show you what it looks like when a chinchilla really does like to be scratched. And I'm not about to scratch a chip. Hey, honey. So they lift their little ear like that and they tilt their head. That's, that's how it looks when a chinny really likes to be scratched. 
Henry loves getting rubbed. He loves chin rubs. And you see Chip is like being really weird. And he's like gonna bite me or something. <laughs> he's a very sensitive chin. And Henry is just the sweetest thing. But Henry still doesn't want to like snuggle with me. This is pretty much what chinchillas like if they like anything. Um, Henry, you look greasy. You had a dust bath like one day ago. <laughs> also, if you handle your chinchillas a lot, they, they do get greasier. So sometimes you might need to dust bathe like three times a week, maybe. Like if Henry looks like this, I, I probably give him another dust bath. <laughs> Chip doesn't look too greasy. It's because I don't really pet him. <laughs> Oh Lord, he is so sensitive and touchy. Jeez, Chip. <laughs> so let's see. Knox is still just chilling up here. And Finn is really looking like he wants to run around. So maybe we'll let Finn out. Um, I'll have to block off the bare little area, but Linus likes that spot, and he also likes the spot up on the shelf right there. But, yeah, it's looking like they're they're getting along really well, and they're both perfectly happy. Let's see. Does Finn like a lot of space? Yes, he definitely likes a lot of space. Um, he's been, I think, a little frustrated living in the half-size cage. Uh... I mean, fortunately, he does like his wheel, so he did a lot of wheel running, which is really good, so he still had access to exercise. And we did playtime, of course, and I spend a lot of time with him, so I wasn't really worried about the half-size cage as a temporary thing. But if they hadn't gotten along, I would have put another big cage in this room so that he could have a full amount of space, too. Hi, Finny. Hi, Finny. Where did I get... Okay, let's see. A lot of where did I get... Uh, the chins, these... All the chins came from different places, um, adopting-wise. So, Finn came from, um, actually a follower who was looking to rehome, and Linus and Knox came from a friend of a friend who was looking to rehome. Chip came from a hoarding case in Pennsylvania, and Henry came from a family who was looking to rehome. So, they all came from various places um let's see um how often do they sleep each day they sleep a lot uh they sleep they're crepuscular oh look at that chippy boy he's so cute um so they're awake at dawn and dusk but they're awake during the nighttime too <laughs> a lot of the time um, but, like, they sleep a lot. They rest a lot. Um, but they still really need to have exercise and playtime, so. Um, just because you see them sleeping in the daytime doesn't mean they want to come out later and exercise. And where do I get their sticks? So I get their sticks from a personal friend, and I'm not about to post that in the email or the her email in the thread so if you want to message me if you have chinchillas you want to message me on instagram and say hey i saw your live and i'd like to know where you got your sticks from i can give you her email no teddy's downstairs <laughs> maybe next time oh he's doing a little whisker clean that's only the second time i've seen him clean his whiskers you guys got to see that that's cool um, if I gave them a water bath, that would be really dangerous to their health. First of all, they could go into, like, a temperature shock. So, okay, so that... <laughs> Finn is so cute and sweet. He's... He really is a peacekeeper. Um, but... If they got wet, um... They could possibly go into temperature shock and not dry properly, which could lead to illness and mold, actually, fungus growing on their skin and in their fur. Uh, it's really dangerous, and you should never ever get your chinchilla wet, and you should not use water bowls. Always use, like, bottles like these that are metal. 
Um, if it has a plastic lid, make sure it's on the outside of the cage. Because they can, they can and will chew plastic bottles. Henry had a plastic bottle for about eight years. And I thought, you know what, he's had it eight years, whatever. He's never going to just chew the bottle. One day he chewed the bottle and flooded the cage. <laughs> that happened here in this house and I felt like such an idiot. Like, wow, I didn't even listen to my own advice. So even if they've never chewed the plastic thing, they will. One day they will. <laughs> Fortunately, they didn't get wet. Um, but that was a mistake I was able to learn without any real consequences, so... <laughs> Can you train them? Um, kind of, not really. A lot of people think I train the chins for videos and stuff, but I don't. I just get them really comfortable and used to being handled. And then I sort of plan everything. And a lot of it's just sort of just letting, letting, it, letting them film, you know, and working with what I can get. Linus holds things on his own. Um, that's a good question. They, I don't, I didn't train Linus or any of them to hold things. Like Henry and Chip don't really hold things, like Linus. Um, Knox kinda does. Um, you can see this fun behavior. <laughs> Finny. Uh, where's Knox? Oh, he's in there. But I, I didn't train them, actually. Um, Linus just does it, so <laughs> I don't know. You can always try to use positive reinforcement if you wanna train your chinchilla to do something. Um, that's pretty much the only way I think the prey animal that you should try any kind of training is with positive reinforcement. Why do I have the cages on the floor? Um, because the ceiling slants like this, so they can't go up on stands, otherwise they, they wouldn't fit against the wall. And they like to have all this space here to run around, so. I have a four-year-old Cavapoo dog. Do chinchillas do well with small dogs? No, chins don't do well with any kind of cats or dogs. Um, no matter the size, uh, not only because it's really, really scary <laughs> for a chinchilla, and even if your dog is or cat is being friendly and not trying to hurt them, they still can because they're a lot stronger and chins are just really, really fragile. But also, I learned within the past year that there's a bacteria in cat and dog saliva that is really dangerous to chinchillas, so I wouldn't put them together ever. There's not, Teddy is the sweetest, most well-behaved dog in the world, and I don't put them together, because it's just not worth it. It's not worth a cute picture, and, you know, if she suddenly felt like chasing one, that would be really, really bad, and it wouldn't be worth it. What's Finn doing? He's digging. He's digging at the edge of the cage. He likes to do that when he wants to come out, but... Not time to come out, Finn. <laughs> Let's see. Which chin loves you the most? Um, I don't know. Probably Henry, I guess. I mean, it's not, it's not like, uh, you know, the same kind of love that you would get from, like, a dog or cat, but I think Henry likes to see me the most. <laughs> Best way to say that. Um, no, I don't live in Las Vegas. I live in Cincinnati. What does it mean if your chin is chirping? Uh, it's chirping, I, I believe, is almost always a good thing. It just means they're curious, or they're exploring, they're happy, they're just talking to you. Knox is up there, and he's just so... <laughs> Who's the first chin? Henry was the first chin, then Chip. Yes, I can make a video about DIY chin toys. And that's actually one of the things I've been meaning to do because all of their hanging toys need to be refilled with chew stuff. Like you can see they're looking a little boring. Um, so that's a video I've been meaning to make for like a week now. So that's a good reminder. I'm glad somebody wants to see that so I can do it. Um. How long do I let them play? They get 10 minutes per cage in the morning. So like Henry and Chip go and then uh, Knox and Finn go and then Linus goes by himself. They get 10 minutes in the morning and then the evening they get 20 minutes per cage. So it's about three minutes every day. Uh, we live in Ohio. 
How come I wanted a chinchilla? I don't know. It was an impulse 10 years ago when I got Henry, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and the first year of having him was pretty rough. I really didn't know anything. And I learned a lot from this really awesome group on Facebook, it's kind of a small group. And then I became kind of obsessed with them. <laughs> but I've always loved rodents. So that's sort of where it all started. I just, I just like small animals. Which is which one's the most cinnamon roll? Definitely Henry. Because Linus is mean. He doesn't. He's he's really really aggressive and territorial. He's he's really kind of mean, Chinchilla. That's why he voted for Oppenheimer. Yeah, he's a little bit of a yeah. He's a little bit of a danger. <laughs> Not with me. He's very trusting of me, but he's very skittish around new people. Um. He, he really does not act like himself when there are other people in this room that he doesn't know. Can chinchillas deal with room temperature? Um, I mean, as long as it's under 70 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. Um, I'm, I see a comment that's been hidden a few times that just says, what will you do when they die? And I don't mind answering that. I won't get any more. I'll just bury them and then I won't, I wouldn't get another chinchilla, I think. I, I said yes to Finn because he's seven and I I don't know if I wanna restart with <laughs> with baby chinchillas the whole 15 to 20 year cycle just because it's a lot to have chinchillas. Um, it really is. They're a commitment and they're, they're not like difficult pets to own, but you do have to take care of them and spend time with them every day. And I do worry about them, so. Um, have I ever had any other rodents? I don't know if guinea pigs are technically considered rodents, but I have had guinea pigs. And I've had hamsters too. I've fostered sugar gliders, which was an awful mistake. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a sugar glider person. I think they're adorable and I love them, but they are not pets that I would own personally. What's your favorite chinchilla coat color? I don't know. That's a good question. I've always really, really, really wanted a mosaic, which is what Finn is. Um, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't necessarily think I have a favorite. Um, hmm. I really like Violet, which is what Linus is. I think he's so pretty. Rodents are underrated, I agree. Oh, hi, Cleveland. Thank you. <laughs> Knox, the nice thing is, is that Knox really doesn't seem to be bothered by Finn's presence because this is, this technically is his cage. Um, even though I did my best to clean it and swap them around in it enough that it smells like both of them. But you see how Finn is behaving towards him. He's really like going up and smelling him and nibbling on his nose. I, I think that's him saying like, yeah, oh, hi. You're in charge and I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> Your chins like doing videos? Um, I think they like running around on the floor and I think they like mm, some of the more fun things to do, but on like sitting on the counter, they're just tolerating it. I don't think they like or dislike it. They just feel safe enough to let me film, so I can. But it does take time, that's for sure. Wow, really, Finn? <laughs> Do they smell bad? Not really. <laughs> fleece can kind of smell bad when you don't change it because fleece just stinks pretty quickly after being peed on. Do they have a lot of energy? Finn does, the others don't. And I think Finn will probably calm down after it's not so new being in this big cage and stuff. Rendement, recommended cage accessories. Um, yeah, definitely we have a cage video that's pretty good. So I would, I would watch that. <laughs> I hate to just say that, but I just watch our cage video because there's a lot in it. How is Linus? He's good. He's just chilling. He's right here. Yeah, they're relatively energetic. Um, they're energetic for like short bursts, which is why it's good for them to come out and have playtime, but then also have a big wheel so they can run in it whenever they want. 
Because when they run in it, they don't run for like 10 minutes straight. They do just quick bursts and then they go like eat or something. So it's good for them to have multiple times to get that, those short bursts of energy out. Second time I'm asking you to put your chinchillas in a bowl and call them chinchilli. That's that's cute. I, I would do that. People like people love the videos where I like pretend I'm cooking them. <laughs> um would a girl chin be easier to take care of than a boy? Not really. It doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> you can still ship them even though they're both boys. Um, I, all chins wag their tails sometimes. It's not really a gender thing. It's just a behavior that they do. It's usually like if they're aroused or if they are overstimulated and excited. Because that, that can be, they want to come play and they want to interact with something or they are actually aroused, which if that happens sometimes. It's normal. It doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Uh, nothing really inspired me to get a chinchilla. I just... I saw Henry uh, on Craigslist, and I thought that would be a good thing to do in my second year of college, which was not probably not a great thing to do, but I did it. And obviously now I'm happy I did, but uh, <laughs> it's a tough pet to have in an apartment with other people because the, the wheel's pretty loud and they are just kind of loud. Who's the messiest? Finn. Finn has taken over for messiest. He is really messy. And then Chip. No more chins. Nope. <laughs> um, no, I, I, we also have a dog. And she's downstairs. And we can hang out with her next time. Maybe I'll do a live at our agility center. I could do like a training session. I could let you guys watch that with her if you're interested. That would be really easy. Do I need to check them for herrings? Um, yeah. So herrings are when the um, fur, and this doesn't always happen with chinchillas. It's just something you literally just check and look. So when they are, this usually happens during mating too. So this, it's, it's hopefully not as, doesn't happen as often, but um, with chinchillas, male chinchillas, they can develop a herring, which is when a bunch of their very fine fur gets wrapped around the inside of their penis. So you would have to, you have to actually like pull it out and pull the fur off. But if you don't want to do that, you can watch cause they do their own herring checks <laughs> and you can just watch and keep an eye on them. And you can get a good look at it while they're doing that and see if there are any herrings that way. So you don't have to handle it all the time if you don't want to. That's what I do. Um, and I spend a lot of time with them. So I do get to, do that check enough times. But yeah, that's one of the downsides of having a male because if that happens, um, or you notice that maybe they're squeaking when they're peeing or maybe they, it looks like they're trying to pee, but they can't, they could have a hair ring. Please pick one up. Well, I can see if Linus will let me pick him up. Linus is really in the zone right now. Hi, Liney. Would you, would you allow me to pick you up? Hi. Oh, got him. Here's his big, oh yeah, he's pooping right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him back. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Which chin annoys me the most? Um, I don't really get annoyed by any of them. Uh, sometimes Chip annoys me because sometimes he pees outside of the cage, which is really gross and annoying to clean up. We love your movies, what's next? Oh, good question. I meant to put a poll out on Patreon recently. Um, I'll have to do that because I have a few ideas. Let's see, which chin is the most touchy? Probably Henry. He's really affectionate. Um, why don't I have any female chins? Well, typically you just stick with one gender because it's, it's easier in case in case something happened and they got together, there would be no chance of baby chinchillas happening. Um, also the smell of two or two different genders might also like make them behave differently. So I just thought it'd be easier to just keep them all male. 
Can I see them do ninja? <laughs> well, eh, Linus is the one who does the ninja stuff. He's really chilling right now because he's pooping, but we can try. <laughs> he's like, please don't tell them that. Finn is very upset that I'm... Hi, Liney. Do you want this? Yeah. He might actually chew it. He usually only does... <laughs> what about this one? Hmm? You want to put it? Put it in the cage? That's how Linus winds up with so many sticks in his cage, because I just love to hand him sticks. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I, we do have quite a few subs. We have, like, 200, over 250,000 now, which I'm so... Oh, look, that was, like, slight ninja. <laughs> he started to do it. Um... I'm, I'm super, super proud and happy that we have that many. But, you know, just post consistently and we'll grow more. Mm. Yes, we have three care videos. Whoa. Something just freaked them out. <laughs> Sorry, Liney. Um, how long do chins live for? Uh, usually, like, 15 years, but they can live past 20. So I usually tell people, be prepared for a pet that might live past 20 years, but probably will hit 15. Um, yeah, so we have our three care videos out. I would recommend going to look at those because we put all the vendors that we really like, safe products and everything in those. So if you wouldn't mind just watching those. Um, no, you need to go to a special exotic vet for chinchillas and not just a dog or cat vet. Uh, I'm not sure what the word is for just a regular vet. It's so just vet. <laughs> but yeah, exotic vet is what you need for a chin. And specifically, you should call and ask if they have a vet who um, sees chinchillas. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we do we do have a, a few lists on... Um, we, we Our Amazon link, like if you go to our link tree, I don't know where it is right now. It's in one of our bios on one of our pages. Um... We have an Amazon page and we have a bunch of stuff on there that we like. We also have a bunch of different item lists and vendor lists on our care videos in our uh, official Chinchilla Care Series playlist, which I'm now knowing <clears throat> I need to put a grooming one in. Hey, Finny, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? It's so cute. Is Onyx considered a fancy chinchilla? I don't know. I don't... Is that color? I've never heard of Onyx. Is a harness recommended for a chin? No. So, no harnesses, no collars, no leashes, nothing like that. Chins should just be without any, like, accessories or equipment on them. Um, they can just get really hurt really, really easily. They're, like, the most fragile little animals. Um... They also don't need to be out and about, so no reason for a collar or a leash or anything like that. Unfortunately, I, I have seen some viral videos of people trying to walk chinchillas and it just makes me sick. Because that chinchilla is very scared, probably hot, overheating, and it's just, it's not a good, it's not a good scene <laughs> to put your chinchilla out, take him out for a walk, which I know isn't what you were asking, but no. No collars, no harnesses. Oh, Linus is in his litter box. Somebody asked about training. You can litter box train. Um, you can try, at least. The others won't. Just Linus. Linus is very clean. He's a very clean chinchilla. Henry does ink paw. Yeah, we could do an ink paw one of him. Yes, chinchillas are 100% floof. Nothing else. They... Barely have bones. <laughs> they break very easily. Do I have a favorite chin? Yeah, Henry's my favorite. Um, Henry's my favorite because he's like my first. And he's he's really sweet. And he likes affection. And he's, he's good with like strangers and people who come over and want to pet a chin and meet him. Henry's just like the sweetest ever. So it looks like they might start grooming. Uh, I was hopeful. <laughs> can I do a video with Chip? Yeah, I do videos with Chip all the time. Chip's so funny. He's like... 
Chip is kind of chaotic <laughs> and crazy. What age do you recommend getting chins at? I really want one and my mom won't let me get one. Finny, you need to calm down. Um, Honestly, if there's somebody in the household who doesn't want a chinchilla, I would say wait until you're living on your own. So you can have a place um, that your chinchilla can be without you having to worry about controlling someone else's home's temperature and the noise and, you know, the messy bedding everywhere. I usually say, honestly, if you want a chinchilla really bad right now and you still want one when you're out of the house, then you should go for it. But between now and then, you probably won't want one anymore and you'll probably be better off <laughs> without one. But I, I'd say, I'd say wait till you're, you have your own place. <laughs> How many chins are too many? Oh, I don't know, probably five. <laughs> uh, it's probably easier to bond two males. Yeah, Finn and Chip are getting, or no, sorry, no, they don't get, <laughs> Chip doesn't get along with anybody except Henry. I actually think Henry, actually Henry and Knox have gotten along before. I did let them see each other in a video. Um, Chip is like creepy sleeping right now. You can see his eye is like kind of open, but he's breathing. He's just being creepy. Um, my chinchillas have their own room and still have a cage, but they keep fighting over the tunnel and sand bath. Maybe your cage isn't big enough or maybe they just need to be rebonded or maybe you need more things, but I would definitely try to fix that because if they start fighting in the cage and you're not there, they could definitely hurt each other. Oh, Knox is laying down. He is so cute. You see him? He's, and Finn is just like jumping all over him. He's the cutest ever. Oh my goodness, Noxy. Um, Henry and Finn have never met. What are the names you almost picked for your chins but didn't? That's a really specific question that I can answer. <laughs> um, well, Knox and Linus' names never were going to change. Finn, let's see. Hmm. I know Henry's chip, Henry's chip, Henry's name was almost Roger. <laughs> and Chip's name was almost Chase. Um, Finn, I had, I had a couple names I was going back and forth between. I liked Sebastian a lot, but I thought it was too long. Um, and I liked Sam, but Sam was also the name of Jordan's childhood cat and my childhood hamster. I just really liked that name, so I decided not not Sam. Maybe, maybe we need more time before another Sam. <laughs> uh, and um, I'm trying to think if there were any others that I really liked. I liked Casper. But I, I don't know, it just didn't go with all of them. I just couldn't think of something. And when Jordan suggested Finn, I was like, oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> Let's see. Hand one over. <laughs> yeah, go have them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Yes, water can hurt them. So um, don't, don't get your chinnies wet. Uh... Linus, he came with his name, and so did Knox. Oh, look, you're being sweet. You're doing a little grooming. If you don't take them outside in nature, would you let them be in with indoor plants for nature time? Um, that's a really cute idea, but they actually shouldn't be around plants. Um, I like the sentiment though, uh, but they're actually perfectly happy in their cages because they are domestic chins and they don't, they don't really need to, um, be outside ever. I mean, being outside, first of all, is, is dangerous for them, but plants, they will tr probably try to eat and they shouldn't. <laughs> so instead of having, trying to have nature time, uh, playtime is much better and kind of necessary because they do need to have exercise. So I would swap nature time with playtime. And then you've got a normal routine. 
New chinchilla. Wow, Finn. <laughs> uh, new chinchilla owners. I would say watch my care series <laughs> videos. But actually also don't worry about it if your chin seems like they don't care about you. Like they, that's just how they are. They like you. They don't hate you. A lot of people ask me, why do my chinchillas hate me? Why does my chin hate me? They don't hate you. They're just chinchillas and that's just how they are. It just seems like they hate you because they're not affectionate like dogs and cats. Does the dog cage work? No, unfortunately, the bars are too far apart. They need to be this much or smaller. And I forget what this is, a half inch? Is that a half inch? I think so. Um, and they also need to have a vertical, a big vertical cage, so they, they have a lot of space to jump. Um, they like jumping. Wait, whoa, 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 I just missed, let's see. Oh, I haven't talked about their ages, that's a good question. So Henry is like 11. Chip is like nine. Finn is like seven. Knox is like, his birthday's coming up. I think he's gonna be six. And Linus is like five. Um, no, Linus used to be bonded with Knox, but that didn't work out. They can bite me, but they don't. I mean, they might put their teeth on me sometimes just because they're, taught, they're trying to communicate frustration to me when they do that. Chinchillas weigh between like 500 and 800 grams usually, but females can weigh up to like 1200. They're just a little bit bigger than males. No more, no more chinchillas. This is the max number of chinchillas. Oh, we actually did recreate Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Hang on. The AC is coming on, it's really loud, and it's plenty cold in here. So they're all, they're doing good today. I'm really, I'm really happy with how Finn and Knox are doing. Um, I'm probably going to leave them like this until the evening, and then I'll switch these pans back, because I actually don't want them to be unsupervised alone yet. I think soon, but not quite yet. Um, how much are chins? I mean, the actual cost of a chinchilla, I don't know, prob probably like between $100 and $300, but the, the main expense is going to be having a big cage like this and the exotic vet costs if and when they get sick or injured. Um, you know, keeping up with hay and sticks and bedding can be expensive. Stuff like this, this one little piece right here was like $20, $25. And, you know, it's like, you just have to pay for stuff like that. So it's, n it's less about the actual animal price and more about <laughs> everything else that comes with it. How hard is it to bond an eight-year-old chinchilla with a younger chin? Eh, if you go slowly, it could be okay. Um, I think a huge age difference might, might be more difficult. I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, yeah, Finn and Linus wouldn't, that wouldn't be good. <clears throat> mm. Do they drink water a lot and then go without it for a while? I don't know. That's an odd question. I'm not really sure about their water habits. Um, <laughs> usually I just see them drink and then they drink for like, a minute and then they go on with what they're doing. I don't necessarily think they're like camels and they drink, they chug a ton and then they don't drink anything for a while. I'm not really sure. Um, no, I wouldn't introduce the chins to another species. Uh, I've, I don't think that's wise, <laughs> even if it seems like they might get along. Lilo and Stitch, that's a really cute idea. I really, really like that idea actually. <laughs> now I'm thinking about that. Maybe that will be in one of my polls. Yeah, if you guys, if anybody here is interested, I know some of our, our mods right now are, are patrons, um, but if you want to be on our Patreon map, which is right here, this is our Patreon map. Um, shout out to all our patrons. They're amazing. <clears throat> we put all behind the, behind the scenes and we do private live streams every month and you get stuff in the mail. 
It's a lot of fun. You can come join us there. And if you just want the digital stuff, it's only $3 a month and it helps us a lot. We just hit 100 patrons. It's a nice community, so you should come join us. No carrots, no veggies, fresh or dry. No veggies at all. No fruits either. I am so excited for you staying up past your bedtime. <laughs> um, Linus is definitely a loner. Yes. Yeah, you can, you could definitely, day two is a good time to put your hand in the cage with a treat. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks so much, Spooky. <laughs> I like that everybody's already planning out this next video. <laughs> oh, sorry, Liney. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So handsome. Look at this paw. Look at this hand. He's got toes. Look at this toe beans. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so handsome. Look at his little mouth. Look at, look at him. I'm just so obsessed with Linus. He's so cute. Aw, oh, thanks, Vicky. We love having you. Are rats easier to take care of than chins? I have no idea. I've never had a rat. But I know rats are very social and very, very smart um, and affectionate. I think they'd probably be better pets than chins. But I know that they are social, so you should probably have more than one, I think. And they do need big cages like this, and they do need exotic care, so. <laughs> if you are only going to have a chinchilla, wait, if you're gonna have a chinchilla, oh, what? In room temp, should you have a wheel? Well, chinchillas, whether or not you have a wheel, they have to be in temperatures under 70 degrees, so 70 and under, and so, yes, they, they can have a wheel <laughs> in 70 degrees and under. Oh. Did you use smooshing method for bonding? No, I didn't. Um, I, I like to think of my method for bonding as, like, a large version of smooshing. So the idea behind smooshing is taking two chins and putting them in, like, a carrier and because chins don't really like to be in a small space, right? So they freak out and they kind of have that experience together. So it helps form a bond that way. And that's, I know that people have had success with that and I don't necessarily think like it can't work, but I think there's more risk doing it that way. Like there's no reason to start with that method, if you know what I mean. Like start with the normal method first and see if it works because if you put two scared chinchillas together they could fight and you may not have time to get the carrier open and separate them appropriately with enough time before they hurt each other really badly and then you're screwed because then they're probably not going to get along at all so i think it's kind of risky to do that at least at first linus is agreeing he's looking at me like what uh but I like the idea behind smooshing because I think having a shared experience between two chinchillas is a really good thing. So if you have a neutral area, like you see in the videos I did the shower, that's a small area and they can't really chase each other in it. But I was able to sit in there with them and like be ready in case something happened. I could pick one of them up really quickly and one could get away from the other one. So it wouldn't be like this tightly packed little carrier that would suddenly become like <laughs> a little brawl. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I would say, hold off on smooshing, like try some other stuff before doing that. I can try to give him a boop, but he doesn't, he doesn't really like my f boop. Ooh. Yeah, he's acting like he wants to bite me. <laughs> what would you do if your two bondage and chill started fighting more? How to make up and get them, make up and get along? Henry and Chip almost, their bond almost broke when I took in um, Knox and Linus. They started chasing each other a lot out in playtime. They weren't fighting, but they were fur slipping, which means that they were scared. 
and trying to get away from each other. So whenever that would happen, I would pick them up and hold them like against my chest and I would hold them right there against me because I know they don't dislike each other. I think it was more of a reaction to smells, which I mean, it definitely was, but so I would put them back in their cage right away and stop playtime because they were having the reaction because of the smell. So I wanted to end that behavior so it didn't become like a pattern. Um, that's how I handled it and it worked. But if they're fighting, if there's bloodshed, you should separate them. Who is the kindest chinchilla? <laughs> um, Henry, definitely. I'll always say Henry. No, I will never bond Linus with a chinchilla. He's, he's really aggressive and territorial and I don't trust him. I think he would win in a fight, <laughs> so I'm not worried about him, but I'm not gonna risk another chinchilla's safety. <laughs> uh, Linus is not in boop mode right now. He's in bite mode. I can just see it in his little eyes. Uh, I use Missouri, so this is my food setup. I leave it in the bag and I have a scoop in here. I don't, I don't put the bowl in there because if someone's sick, I don't want it to taint the rest of the food. And also it's best to keep the food in the bag. It's designed to hold the food. So leave it in the bag in the container. That's the best thing. And for dog food and cat food too. Job interview with Chip, <laughs> Lord. People are obsessed with Chip. He's such a wild little guy. He's crazy. Hi, Finny. Finny's doing so good. He's chilling. Yeah, he's warm. Look at his ears. It's plenty warm in here. He's just, he was having a, a little bit of playtime in his cage. I know, Henry, well, Henry has to be the main character. He just had to be Scrooge, unfortunately. <laughs> Twenty seven hundred for Linus. Oh Lord, I don't know. I don't know if I could get him. He would be really insulted if I sold him for twenty seven hundred dollars. I think. <laughs> Linus is not for sale. That's correct. Linus is not for sale. I would be very sad if I sold Linus. If I sold any of them. Oh, but look at his little hand. Oh, he's got the cutest little hand. Why is it not letting me show you his hand? There you go. So small. The most evil is Linus. I think that's pretty obvious. Linus is also, though, like, the most beautiful. He's very handsome. He's very talented, too, with the sticks and the toys and the holding signs and stuff. How can you tell if your chins are hot? Um, their ears get red, so I don't know if he's gonna let me show you. Uh, I don't want him to think he's about to come out, but you see his ears are red? He's a little bit warm. Um, I'm not worried because he was just running around really hard <laughs> in the cage and it's it's really cold in here. It's like 65 degrees. So he's he just needs to take it easy for a few minutes. He'll be okay. Linus is a diva, yes. Who's the most scary chin? Um, that's an interesting question. Maybe Chip, because he, I mean, not scary. He just spooks me sometimes because he just really suddenly, <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's sort of random. I guess maybe scary would be Linus. I know, I know. It is sad. I think it's better if they're similar in age for bonding. But I don't think it means it couldn't work. That's just my assumption. I don't know. Who sleeps the most? Um, they all sleep pretty much the same. Probably Knox. Oh, look at that sweet boy. Yeah, he's, he's calming down now, finally. He's been going crazy. Okay, well, looks like this has gone pretty well. I'm very happy with Knox and Finn's behavior. Um, they actually already had a bunch of playtime today, so I'm not going to take them out. But if you want to see a private playtime, you should join us on Patreon. And you also get a pin in our map. We have so many different patrons from all over. And if you see your state is not represented, you should definitely join so we could 
fill up this map. Um, there's even a ton of countries represented, which is really cool. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining, and I hope this was helpful for some people and you enjoyed watching Finn and Knox be in the cage together. Um, hopefully it'll be a permanent change. I'll probably switch this later on tonight. But, uh, all right. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.